Alex Navarro, Abby Russell, the forces of Monday are yes. arrayed against us. Oh, what are we going to do? I hate the Monday forces. What are we going to do? The diabolical forces of Monday <laughs> have conspired to ruin our lives once again. What are we going to do? I went to the doctor and they said I have a case of the Mondays. <laughs> the only cure was playing some games. Well, we've come to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a bad Monday problem. Oh, it's no. it's, we're back. We're back in the office. I don't think we should be here right now. The doctor told me specifically: no offices. No offices. Uh, no offices. No. No offices. No Mondays. This is my platform. I agree. You know what I find a little wild when now that COVID is sort of like normalizing, and it's like everyone's like, you can go back in the office. There's some people who like want to go back in the office. Mm. <laughs> Something I simply cannot fathom. Cannot relate. There's no. any circumstances. I've got a better idea. What is it? Let's go to the beach. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Let's go to the beach. Doctor uh, said the ocean waves are a good cure for the case of the Mondays. That's right. You know what else is a good cure for the case of the Mondays? Twin uh, Towers. Max pa Max Payne? <laughs> Dated Max yeah. Payne. Dated no of no New video York. game character has ever had more of a case of the Mondays mm. than Max Payne. <laughs> yes, that's right. Dated Dated portrayals of New York, I think. Ooh. Yeah, here. Alex, why are we playing Max Payne? Uh, so we were gonna, we did the podcast last week, and then about five minutes after we were done recording, uh, Remedy went out and announced that they are doing full-on remakes of Max Payne 1 and 2 sometime in the future. Let's say at least a couple of years from now. And here's the thing about Max Payne and Max Payne 2. They're pretty good video games. They are good. But they are impossible to play on the personal computer unless you do some finagling on your part. That sounds like the Steam version of this game is a real mess. It's a real mess, and you need a fix pack that someone went ahead and made to even get it to run properly. That said, this fix pack actually does seem to do the business pretty well. I, I hear, I hear good things. I man, I haven't seen Max Payne probably since it came out, since I played through it. Abby, what is your what is your Max Payne experience? I know nothing about Max Payne. Oh boy. Is he a drunk? I also thought uh, he was bald for some reason. This guy, he, he gets there. <laughs> Yeah, okay. he's it bald by the time he, he is, loses his hair by the time Max Payne three comes. Okay, around. is he, he is, Vin Diesel in the he is, movies? He has all of these things at some point. No, Mark Wahlberg played him in Mark the movies, Wahlberg. and it is one of the most legendarily awful video game movie adaptations. That there sounds is. great. Oh, have you seen it? I yeah, uh, it's awful. Oh man, just is it? Is part of it FMV? The the opening I title know, card makes it feel of, FMV. Yes, how do I expect? It's not FMV, but the face is the face of Remedy co-founder Sam Lake. Oh, it's such a good face. Let's just, why don't you, why don't you new game us here? Okay. Let's game All right. So I'm going to new game us here. I might have to juice the audio levels a little bit as we go, because right now when I have things with, at default, uh, I can't hear you guys at all. Uh, and I also can't tab out of this window because it just won't let me. So let's just see how it goes. Great. Great. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, we're okay, playing, we're playing on, fugitive on fugitive mode. mode is that what it said? Yes, yes, that is the, that only, is the difficulty only difficulty that is unlocked, that is unlocked by, default. by default. Oh, oh interesting. interesting. Staying. Uh, I'm just going to say this. I've got a little bit of a rickety stream set up over here, so please let me know, Chad, if there are any issues. Yes. Sounds, Sounds like, like they're, they're saying, saying there's some, some echoing. echoing. Oh, double audio. Double, double game, game audio. audio. Right? How about now? That shouldn't be happening. Hello, hi, hey. I'm gonna keep talking. This game's gonna keep going. I was saying double me? Double. Well, good for them. I don't hear more <laughs> me. That sounds so neat. That sounds like a bargain. I don't think I ever saw a police helicopter in New York. I've definitely heard of some, some police helicopters here and there. Really? There are all the time in LA. It's awful. Yes. All the time. It was a weird thing I had to get used to. Or I'm like, why is there a helicopter all the time? The gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything oh, shit. that led to this all right. point. I'm told it sounds I hope you like hard boiled narration. Look at this face. Look at this guy's face. Oh god. Oh my god, mm -hmm. <laughs> his face. Kind of sense when was this game made? Uh, 2001, 2001, I think. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I want to oh, see exactly I like when. this comic book thing. But don't mind this m menu being off center. It's normal. It's loading. It just does okay. that for some reason in this version. Why does he look kind of like an N64 character, but like on a PlayStation? You know what I mean? That's kind of what 
3D computer games looked like back then. Interesting. Like a lot really? of face mapping. Oh, yeah. They, okay. They didn't have a lot of polygons to work I with. I guess my memory of them is different. Yeah. Because I remember for, like, you know, Perfect Dark... I was still in the force back Gold then. Goldeneye, NYPD but that feels older. Wow, look at this yeah. art. Honestly, I love it. I know, right? They definitely like did some like graphic effect rotoscoping type stuff over just like photos Picks, they took of each other. Like around the office. Yeah. My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. I guarantee you every single person in one of these cutscenes worked at Remedy at some oh, point. Oh, absolutely. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Uh, speaking of babies, I will just say this opening of this game is extremely fucking depressing, so just brace yourself. Okay. Is it related to babies? Uh, yeah. Perhaps. Beautiful wife and baby girl. Mm, this can't Can you grow. imagine how this might go wrong? <laughs> Did she meet someone else? But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. Oh, it's worse than that. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky. God, I forgot. How I hate it. I forgot. I hate it when the sky is laden with foreboding. I, know, I, f I forgot how painfully <laughs> over the top noir the writing is in this game. It's so much. Michelle. Okay, I kind of like the art style. Like the way the show started, they'd give me the best seat in the house. Yeah, I mean it's blocky, but it's you know of its time in that Maybe regard. Maybe what the because, hell? Because I don't know. Oh, I feel like I don't have nostalgia for like the 8 bit, 16 bit era, but I guess I have nostalgia for this era, Something which must be why I'm like, you know what? Doesn't look terrible. Things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. God, there's just so much fucking metaphors. So many metaphors. It was a poison syringe. Oh, look at that blocky ass phone. I mean, some of them are probably similes, right? Sure. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm I'm, I'm activating simile so watch now. As soon as we find uses like her ass, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot help. So okay, is Max Payne a cop? Is he a yes. detective? Oh, yes. Okay. He's a cop. Okay. So is he prepared to deal with? Well, it's this? his own. own we're in his own home right now, which is bad. Sure. So bad stuff. It's also this house is fucking gigantic. I'm I know. Is like he in like living Jersey? Room. Where is he? He's in Jersey. He lives in Jersey. Okay, okay. This is the Jersey dream home. That is somewhat realistic to New York. You settle down, you move mm -hmm. to Jersey. Oh no, this game understands New York. It's ridiculous, but at least it gets New York. Yeah. Uh oh. Nothing good is happening here. Why would anyone want to murder his wife and baby? Michelle! Wait, you bailed on going in there? That other door was blocked, so I couldn't get in oh, there. Oh, I see, I see. No, 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 please, God, no. That's... Why? That's a dead child. Oh, my God. And... That's about to be a dead wife? That's about to be a dead wife. That guy looks so peaceful. <laughs> I mean, he's a video game man. He needs some pathos. No, 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 God. Yeah. No, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. A little exclamation point to let you know, hey, this is a point of interest. <laughs> your dead wife. Uh, why would they want to kill your wife and baby? My they question. sort of get to that. Okay, just seems like a gang or some kind of thug, so to speak. I think they're junkies. Is the is the no! bit here? <laughs> well, it's, okay, it's, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's played so straight. <laughs> Everything ripped apart. But it's so dumb. Bed. Oh, the junkies geez. have been high on a previously unknown designer drug. Oh, Val. right. Okay. Oh, I forgot about Valkyr. I told super Alex drugs. Valkyr is a pretty good super drug name. Yeah. It took us three Valkyr V. Okay, so they're just like hyped up on drugs. Yes. Super random, random event. Family was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Again, I'm sorry these loading screens are off-center, but they are loading, I promise. <laughs> that is the subway, oh, which 14th Street, and oh, I want to know. Does Hat Guy have a ponytail? probably Union Square. That's What's a, that? That's a ponytail on Hat Guy, right? Yeah, there's a ponytail with sure. a Hat Guy. For sure. The old subway cars. I guess it's like the, the C, maybe? I'm trying to figure out what, what we're looking at. One thing I will give this game is they get the subway cars right. That's or good. Or at least the, some of them they do. I love games that capture a city. 
Yes. I think it's so exciting every time. Maybe it shouldn't be anymore. Maybe that's just like how technology works. But I'm like, wow, it does look like LA. They did it right. It was a cruel yeah. Monster. I've been slowly working my way. Metaphor. Times the big fish, mm -hmm. trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. BB. The ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with oh, Alex. Not Lupino. At the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone. I like to think he's talking about me. <laughs> Mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart. Raining ice. Metaphor. Were ready to fall. <laughs> Are metaphor. you sure you don't want to take an edit pass on that? I have to read this out loud. <laughs> so many. <laughs> ice pitchforks. Shot straight in the face. Is it subway Something time? Was not right about uh, this. July twenty third, two thousand one, was the release date for this. Just to uh, fill in the, the question mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the God, literal like two months right before nine eleven. Brutal. Address the twin towers in the background. Roscoe Street sure. Station, and Alex. Yeah. So the only thing they get wrong here is that they combine the sort of older train car trains with these silver train outline or like the outer oh, yeah. but other than that like i feel like that's actually pretty close yeah they, they kind of nail it it looks like they just took a picture of it and put the wrapping on to look for on the like yeah hmm i wonder where my contact is uh how's the game audio level for everyone at home uh -oh. if they want more or less of it just let me know it's good i think I'm not seeing any complaints Death was in the air at roscoe street i'd have to find just out wait till the bullets sure. start flying then we'll mm -hmm. see yeah. They'll be along shortly, don't you worry. He's really, like, nonplussed by this corpse he found. Yeah, he's seen a few in his day. Okay. I don't... Do the trains of police keep Bills weapons? How are their bullets? Ooh, toilet. Alright, here we go, folks. What the hell? Is, is yeah. it time? Just get right into it. Oh, wow. There it is. How do you know if they're bad? Eh, they're in this game. They're probably bad. That's right. Okay, fair enough. If the oh, game lets shit. you go into slow motion, you should probably start shooting. So this is a game that is very much a... Yeah. Okay. This is a game that is very... Or does it just happen? Uh, I control it to a certain degree. Like, I, there's a button you press that sort of just puts you into that state. And you see, so the little uh, hourglass thing next to my character is how much bullet time I have to work with. Oh, cool. What the? <laughs> Damn, strong bullet. I am using a Desert Eagle. That's a very big pistol. The Desert Eagle was kind of like the preferred pistol for like a lot of like late nineties, early two thousands action cinema because it's just so comically huge. Oh really? Yeah. Is that oh, Desert Eagle point five oh? It will not hold it. Is that a line from something? Oh, I have a shotgun. Alex, does that ring any bells? Right. Fun. Hold it. What line? Brad Frozen? Brad Freeze. Uh oh. My computer is kind of melting. Right what now. was the line, Brad? Was... Ooh, look at all these sodas. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, no. Yes. Okay. We can hear you. Sorry. We just want to know the line! Some, some, some technical difficulties on my end, let's say. Uh, Desert Eagle.50. Is that hmm. ringing really bells? That's the yeah, line. the Desert Eagle, like I said. No, no, that's the line. Like, that is. That's a, it's a... Oh! Oh. What is that line? Oh, Snatch. Everybody in chat. Yes, you're right. That is a line from something. Everybody in chat says Snatch. Snatch? Okay, that's, that, that makes sense. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Yeah. Oh. oh, that guy's yes. dead. Oh. Makes it well, easier for you, I guess. Up in the middle of a big time crime operation. A crime operation? <laughs> Sorry, I think I was Bird trying to time. ask this six-year-old PC to do one too many things. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Hopefully things will be better now. Okay. I, uh, this game really just pops you right into the action, huh? Yeah. 
Since there's not a lot of mourning for your dead wife, just immediate revenge. Well, that, the dead wife thing happened like three years ago. Still! Yeah. That's easy. It's gonna take you a while to bounce back from that. The gate was People locked. in 2001, oh, PC gamers back then, they didn't time. have uh, they didn't have time for that sort of yeah. thing. I mean, you know, they were just like, uh, we need to we need to be shooting stuff. Honestly, like by the standard of the time, though, this was considered like a ton of story in this game. Really? Oh, absolutely. I mean, like this is not that far removed from just like Doom and Quake with z literally zero s setup for anything other than like shoot everything. Wow. All right, fair enough. My painkillers. Also, like the bullet time in this was like a huge deal because this was still pretty close to the Matrix. Yeah, it was like two years after. I think this was the first game to do it, wasn't it? Really? That seems right. Because that is kind of an iconic feature in like all games, like Red Dead. Like so many games have those sort of like slow down to Whoa. shoot. Uh-oh. Good I night, Irene. Yell. I really walked into something. What's up, cop? Transit police, like real police in New York. Generally, um, it is. Like, usually it's just regular cops down there. Huh. Yeah, you just see regular cops occasionally. And then there's, like, the people who run the MTA, but they're, like, conductors and stuff. Or they're behind, um, like, the thing just to help you get your ticket. It's pretty lawless down in the subway. Mm hmm. As it should be. Yeah, I agree. Abby, how, how are you feeling about your New York to Los Angeles transition now that you're, like, what? Couple, couple years? Like six months in. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Dude, if, you told, if you told me you moved out there like two years ago, I would have believed you. I have no, idea <laughs> no. I mean, no. It's uh, about six or seven months. Okay. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Okay. I mean, I think for <laughs> me, I, sometimes I miss, I miss just walking around, you know? And I still walk here, but it's not the same. And I miss like that like New York london paris field you can just like get up and walk places and like go to do whatever and like be out about on your day and not have to like drive or be in a car it's very suburban here it's very suburban and that's the thing like you think of la basically as like hollywood downtown los angeles and maybe santa monica but there is also an enormous surrounding area of just places where people live yeah yeah it feels like um like the sub, you know how suburbs usually have like a little town center in the middle of them? It feels like a bunch of those little town centers kind of close together, but still yes. with like suburb in between, if that makes sense. Totally. Yeah. I'm realizing it has now been something like almost three years since I've been to Los Angeles, and it feels weird. Really? In the yeah. last, the E3 was what got me down there, and yeah. they don't do those anymore. No, probably never again. Yeah. Well, yeah. they like to think they will, but they're lying to you. No, I was right there in the release. E3 will return in 2023 in physical... Bullshit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get on it. Let's, let's be a subway driving, driving man. Okay. You know, it was always the worst thing. I would have to take the subway at night a lot. Mm -hmm. And, like, sometimes the trash car would come. Oh, my God. And you know it would take, like, freaking forever. And then you're... Your train would be after the trash car, and it would be so slow. What is the trash car? The trash it's just car is not train. fun. Is it a car it's full just of trash? a train full of cars, so for being and slow. then they take all the trash from the subway and put them on. Oh my god! Like literally, just giant trash bags. It's just yeah. It's just like sort of trailers <laughs> oh, of trash. Wow, all right, I mean, that's efficient. You got a yeah. you got a thing that moves people. It can also move trash. It makes sense, but it's annoying. Can wait? Can you? Yeah, it's a thing that should exist, but also whenever it get, that train is in front of you, you are miserable. Can you get on the trash car? No, no, no it doesn't no. even look like it. Like sort of has the front two cars of a subway car, but it's like open air, like sort of like a kind of like old timey train look. It's full of garbage. Live from the crime scene. Yeah. Oh, weird. Apparently. 3D Realms trademarked the term bullet time for this game. Oh. Huh. Wait, what does 3D Realms have to do with this I think game? It says, it says they published the it. Led to an abandoned huh, station, okay. Closed off since the early 40s. But Something now Warner Brothers owns down the in Roscoe road. Street. Maybe that's why Alex and Warner turned me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was oh, going to find that's... out. Is this whole game set in the subways? No, just this, okay. this section. There are, there are also buildings in which you can shoot people. Okay. Are there, um, like, collectibles or anything? Just bodies. Yes, okay. That's right. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, oh, God. 
trying to think. Was it two? Two had the fake TV show, right? I don't think they did that for this one. Yeah, I don't think this game had that. But yes, there was like like the the token remedy, like you know, fake TV shows, fake media stuff, was very prominent in two. Uh, was that address unknown? I, I want to like. Is there, there's got to be just like a wiki of all the fake remedy t TV shows, right? Okay, so if this game was like early adopter of having like some sort of story set up, what do you think was like the first game, like shooter type of game that had like a real story in it, you think? Half-Life? Oh. Uh, well, uh, there's like System Shock, I guess, if you really want to be technical about like System Shock had some story in like 93 or something, 94. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like this was the first game to really go hard in a narrative direction. Yeah, it's just, just that, like, it's it's just the, the specific hard-boiled detective noir thing mm. that it is doing is was kind of its own like, space yeah, at like, the time. Yeah, like, the, the noir stuff was unique for a video game. And also, like, it wasn't the first game to do story stuff. It just had a lot of it, you know? Like, by the standards of the time, this was still, like, considered kind of a lot of storytelling. Cool. I don't have a lot of health. I should probably try not to die. How do you recover? Do you have painkillers? Can you? Yeah, I'm out of painkillers at the moment. Okay. I should probably also swap oh, to maybe some guns that are that have a little more distance on them. Oh, I got the double pistols. Okay. Double oh. pistols. Oh there beans. Go. That's fine. Now you got nothing. Now Damn. I'm dead. In the nasty New York sewer. Yeah, that's like subway water too. Like that's, that's almost bad. worse than actual subway water. <laughs> or than uh, than sewer water. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Double pistols, dual Berettas. Here we yeah. go. That's the business. Kimbo, I believe they call it. Yes, I love to be a Kimbo. There we go. Oh boy. Sometimes you just gotta shoot a guy in regular motion. Yeah. Is it, like, can you go through the game without ever doing the slow-mo? Like, does the slow-mo actually help? I think it does more often than it doesn't. Oh, boy. Get him! Because, like, the shooting is fine. Like, it feels fine on its own. Oh. But, like, that's that's really the, the money right there. I, I guarantee there are, like, no no bullet time speed runs out there. There must be. Any percent no bullet time. Like, it goes against, to, to me, it goes against the spirit of what Max Payne is, to not do that. That makes sense. Yeah, like, honestly, I cannot stress enough how big a deal the bullet time stuff was when this game came out. Like, it's just like, wait, you mean I really? get to do that for real? Like, the thing in the Matrix? Like, I get to do that? This game very well reviewed when yes, it came out? Yes, this oh, game, yes. This game was Beloved. Like, Did y'all review it? Um, I didn't personally, but... Yeah, people yeah this was before my game you know, criticism people, career. People at our establishment oh. certainly did. Uh, let's okay. just see. Fair enough. Who reviewed it at GameSpot? I think in 2001, I was doing freelance PC reviews for CNET Game Center, but I did not review this game. <laughs> yeah, I was... Wow, you're not already anything this good. I was, yeah, I was freelancing for GameSpot by then, but, uh, yeah, Greg, Greg reviewed it. 9.2. Greg Miller? No, no, no Greg Kasavin. Oh, uh, okay. Of, of... Now of Super Giant Giant fame. OBS crashed, so... Here we are. Phil, is this, can I do this thing? Abby, does this mean anything to you? This, this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you it got? does. <laughs> what do you got? Shall we tell some jokes? <laughs> tell some jokes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of a joke I haven't told on stream already, mm, but I've told them I, all. I'll take whatever you got <laughs> at this point. I'll tell my favorite joke that Vinny once butchered on a podcast, your, which wait, was fun. Your favorite joke? It's my favorite joke. I didn't write it, but it's my favorite joke. Right. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay, so a guy's at the grocery store and he's checking out. Um, and this cute cashier, she's like checking him out. And she like rings up like a one frozen dinner, like one of those small bags of chips, and like a single beer and like a single pint of ice cream. And then as she's ringing him up, she turns to me and she goes, hey, are you single? And he goes, yeah, how'd you know? And she says, because you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Harsh but I love that joke. Yes. Okay, now, now tell that joke in the Max Payne voice. 
Oh, so my wife was checking me out at the grocery store. It was a cold winter day. <laughs> I couldn't think of a metaphor fast enough. No, for I think a cold that's, day. That's, that's that's good enough, honestly. <laughs> he needs more metaphors. What the? What the? The fucking good guys here. So why are they busting what holes in the subway oh. walls? It's indeterminate at this point. There's bad guys. They're doing crimes. Okay. Oh, I guess there's a vault down here. In the way of the subway? Oh, wherever it is yeah. that we are. Is that a thing in subway? Oh, I guess because they busted a hole through the wall of the subway. Yeah. It must have to get to a bank. Or otherwise, Look you know, so something bars. that requires a vault. Oh, no. I got shot in the face. Do banks just have gold bars like that? Like huge like stacks? Federal stuff? Reserve banks probably do. Yeah, definitely the government has got piles and piles of gold. That is insane. To I don't. I don't. About. I don't know about just like your random like bank sure. branch down the block. I would imagine most banks probably don't have like that much money. I mean, I guess, but what the hell? I don't know. I'm, I'd be curious how much money a bank carries in it. What would you oh, do if you shit. got inside the vault? Would you just like roll around Me? in the money? <laughs> like, is this like a thing where like I wouldn't go to prison no matter what? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yes. I think I would just like poke. I think I'd just be curious. Like, how does this work? How does this work? And then I think I'd also be worried that someone would close and I'd get trapped in. Because that would be scary. Uh-oh. They've lost the face cams. This is too much. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. The people don't need to see our faces. They just uh, need to know we're playing hey, Max Payne. Live just know that we're beautiful. I really would love to have my face be mapped onto a like character like this. You know what I mean? Oh, you like can, a real boxy. You can do that. There's like, if you have a newer iPhone, you can totally just like scan your face and turn it into a 3D model. <gasps> How? I want to do that. Do you have an iPhone like 12 or newer? I think I have an 11. Mm, that might Small work. Small one. Hello? If it's, if it's one of the ones with the LiDAR, then I think you can do it. What is a LiDAR? Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, die. Oh, some painkillers. Was he limping? <laughs> oh my god, last stand. Get him! Oh no, I'm out of, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> this is bad. Boom. Oh my god, you're doing it. You're, Got you're, him. You're doing like, it. I feel like your butt and your, like, chest are going to be so bruised from all this jumping back and forth on the ground. He really has no regard for himself or his bone structure. <laughs> no. like, he is just like, nope, I am landing on every hard surface imaginable. <laughs> Somewhere around here there must be some painkillers. How could there not be? Yeah, we're in a bank. There we go. That's what I needed. Uh, Please yeah, make me not up. as in pain. That's good. We come to you now live from the crime scene. <laughs> oh, Max. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Is Max Payne good? Like, the game I he was or a cop. dude? He like, is kind of a rogue cop. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's doing just being his... real disrespectful to a fellow officer on the phone, so. So he, he's apparently joined the DEA at this point. He's not, strictly speaking, a cop Wait, cop. What? I completely missed yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask a dumb question. The DEA, yeah, Defense... Drug Enforcement Drug Agency. Enforcement Drug Enforcement Agency. Agency. Okay. okay. On the cover of every magazine. Meg assume in the chat says apparently the entire plot of this game is basically just Die Hard with a vengeance. Okay, never seen Die Hard. Wait, what? I... Is that the Christmas one? Oh my god. I always confuse Die Hard and Braveheart. Mm. Die Hard <laughs> and see, Braveheart. I can see how somebody might mix those up. Yeah. You should see, you should see Die Hard. It's still... It's, Die Hard's a pretty good movie. It's quite good. Die, Die Hard with a vengeance, Die also a pretty good movie. Okay. That's, the, that's the third one, right? Yes. Judging and I don't think two is bad. Two's, two's, is it? I thought two was no, not, I think it's pretty okay. I thought two was not well liked. It's all right. Hmm. It's four and five you got to stay away from. Oh, they made so many. Yeah, they made too many, honestly. Right, that's the way I came in. 
guess this is probably all is I can it? do right now. Can you open Vault C? Or have we already been in Vault C? If I open Vault C, I open Vault A. Yeah, there's not really anything in there. Okay, okay. Just checking. Yeah, you got the I detonator. Into, I can't get into that room or anything yet, so... Okay. Maybe you just needed the detonator, and then you can leave and just blow her up. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of bodies. You should definitely at least see Die Hard 1. I mean, it's one of those movies that's just like... I hesitate to use the word perfect, but it's like... <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> what I, You know what I mean, though? It's like... It's, it's one of those movies. Yeah, nothing's that, wrong with it. Well, it's one of those movies that feels like it, like there are no wasted seconds. You know what I mean? It's like oh, it, sure. Literally yeah. every single frame it's of no the movie. No filler. Yeah, totally. Like it just moves. I'm sure it's a fun watch. Yes. That was what I needed to do. Oh, they, the subway cart hasn't changed that much in like 20 years. It still looks no. the same. What the it hell? It absolutely has not. That's wild. I mean, the subway has barely changed in the last yeah, 20 to 30 that's years. True. Oh, this guy. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm quite glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more <laughs> walk animation. I don't know. <laughs> it's a robbery. A tunnel job straight Uh oh. Oh no. He's got sunglasses on in the subway. That can't be good. No, in a trench coat to his ankles. Uh oh. Alex, look out! I mean, in game Alex. Yeah. Oh no! Uh oh. Alex! <laughs> there was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Also, also he was bleeding bullet. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Black a heartbeat will do it. Get him! Shit, losers. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is this advertisement? Will you go back? Hmm. Didn't age so well. No. <laughs> nope. No. I suspect the remake will have a few modifications. <laughs> yeah. uh, they better still let you get as many sodas as you can out of this machine. Can though. you drink them? No, can, they just they just fall on the can floor. You shoot them. <gasps> yes. Oh yeah, bullet time the sodas. Whoa, is there a mailbox in the subway? I've never seen that. <gasps> you can shoot them. Yep. Wow. What kind of video game would this be if you couldn't? It's the height of two thousand one interactivity. Oh no, I shot the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Those stairs are so fucking dead, though. Wow! Oh my, okay. oh my goodness! Really blew up. Boy, was that a grenade? Dropping that appeared to be a grenade. They do throw grenades. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, I love all the leather jackets, though. So specific to a certain time. Oh, I have to redo all of this? It doesn't save! Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, no checkpoints? No nothing? No! Wait, can you quick save? Speed run! This is totally the era of the F5, F9, though. Can I, you... yeah, no, I've, I'm spoiled. That's can the you, problem. Can, does it Does it have that? I would assume so. Yes, yeah, so you can save anywhere okay. is the thing. Just, just, just bang on that F5. I will, as soon as I can. Um... Okay, Brad, tell me a secret while we catch up. Secret? Yeah. Well, Something on, you've never told anybody. Say it on the internet. It's not going to be a secret anymore. Okay. Well, reveal your deepest shame. Um, that's also not. <laughs> hold that one a little close to the vest. Brad, the audience is waiting. I have to say something. God damn it. Um, uh, they, the chat was saying a second ago, like, like if you don't know a ton about Die Hard, it's like, it's like the prototypical one of those, like, dude, like single heroic dude gets trapped in a terrorist situation. Of and has to like slowly pick them off one by one and fight his way out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Is it's it like, smart? Because I like the ones that's like, oh, they're like smart about how they do it versus like sort of stumbling into like solutions on accident. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite screenplays ever written. Like I think oh, it is wow. actually a well delivered one of those for sure. Cool, I'm gonna check it out. Cause I'm thinking of like um, No Country for Old Men. Like everyone's smart in that movie, which I really enjoy. I haven't seen you that know? since it came out. Is it? Oh, is, it's so good. It still... Okay. I think it is great. Is it? Don't forget the painkillers. Yeah, as good as there will be blood. Yes. Is it? 
I think so. I think they're very different, but yeah, I think it's just as good. I love both of those movies, and they came out at similar times. They were shot near each other. We kind of get to see you talk about their own blood, like. Who is this? Oh yeah, kind of a I'm an oil man. I was trying to skip this, but it seems like I can't. So. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys. Since finally get to hear his sarcastic wit, so that's thrilling. Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. I feel like this right. voice actor kind of like chews on his vowels a little bit. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> what does it mean to chew on your vowels? I don't know how to. I, I just said that, and I probably should have an explanation for that question. <laughs> I don't really know how to. Sorry for asking the hard question. Like, there are just certain syllables where it feels like he's really leaning into it. Leaning into it. Recently been on every channel, on the cover of every magazine. Every cover of every magazine. Yeah. Have they said much about that remake? Like, I saw the announcement go out, but like... No, they really just announced it and said, Ah, we're doing it! Literally was just, hey, we're working with... The bank uh, robbers have tools right? on the table. Yes. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty just into see. orbit. Awooga! 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 <laughs> Bankfall's gonna start wolf whistling in a second. Oh. oh, it's one new game. It says the remake will fold both Max Payne 1 and 2 into a single release. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if that means it's all one story or if it's just like a pick from the menu, play Max Payne 1. I feel and like two. it'll gotta be like a pick from the menu. Yeah, because I, I think like two, that's usually how they go, right? Two picks up like way after this, if I'm not. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not right. It's not like a one, like right into the next like, story. Like, yeah, like I think it'd be tough to write a, a bridge between both games. They have to. Do you have to put the thing on the door? I know. I just wanted to see if there's oh, anything okay. in these boxes. Oh, cool. Do you have, like, a knife for breaking boxes? I mean, I have a crowbar, but it's more fun to oh. shoot them. Just curious. There we go. We get this in slow Boom. motion Oh, we get to see this guy die again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty good death scene. That's true. We're glad to see you. I like how much they telegraph it. There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight through Roscoe Bank vault. God, doesn't City. Remedy have like kind of a ton going on? This is Lupino's gig. Yeah, they're doing. Lupino's like they announced Alan Wake two. They're doing this Max Payne remake. Aren't they doing? They're doing that like control multiplayer game too, right? Yeah, I think so. Damn. That's a lot Alex? for a studio that I didn't think Alex. was that big. Alex! I think Control being as big of a hit as it was probably there lent, was gave them do. some leeway to do some dead. more stuff. I could mm. tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. Quantum Break did not exactly hit the mm. way anyone hoped. Aha. It's the only game of theirs I definitively don't like. I, I never got around to playing it. It's got so much kind of middling response when it came out like it's not without its charm but i would not call it a great game i assume you can still like stream the videos in that game i would hope i think so i don't know i have not tried to boot up quantum break in a long time yeah that whole thing where they were like oh it's gonna be like a tv series but also that tv series is gonna be like the worst sci-fi channel shit you've ever seen in your life <laughs> was not it's not as compelling a pitch as you had hoped I've never played it personally. Never played it, never will. Damn. Take that quantum break. Yeah. Oh god, you're right here. <laughs> oh, I'm out of bullets. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm Just keep jumping. Oh no. Careful! Try to picture what this would look like from third person, like oh. just somebody watching this play out without the <laughs> slow mo. Like this dude is just leaping back and forth constantly <laughs> for no reason because it's the only way he can engage his magic slowdown power. Oh, oh that would look You're so healed. Dumb. Yeah, I've discovered that these uh, subway stations all have painkillers in them, just That's like real good. life. Probably a lot of quarters. 
thing it's missing is a woman who absolutely does not want to talk to you speaking through the worst speaker you've ever heard <laughs> in your life that you cannot yeah. discern. It's like, <laughs> but all you can tell is that she hates you. Yes. Uh, very relatable, unfortunately. And that you've asked her something stupid. Yeah. Like the stupidest possible thing. Yeah. No reason for me to do that. I just like doing it. It's fun. I support it. Alex, were you in Boston when there was like the tea tokens? Uh, I was using a card the whole entire okay. time I was there. Like Charlie card. Yeah, it was definitely a Charlie card. Where do I go? These doors are all locked. Wait, their transit system is named Charlie? The transit system's in the T. Oh. Yes, it is the T. What's up with it's Charlie? It's the T. But the card, like the tap-in card, is the Charlie card. I don't know why it's called the Charlie card. Um. I can't go around this way. Hmm. Hmm. I must be missing something. Hmm. How do people get in? But yeah, you know, it's like the way like China has like the octopus card and I oh. forget what the I forget what the uh Japanese one is called, but Damn. Hmm. everybody's got cooler cards than us. London chat says London has the oyster card. Yeah, mm hmm Oyster card. But Boston used to have little like tokens. My dad lived there when they did. Oh I think he's has a few. But pa Pasmo and Suika are the two in Japan. Pasmo, yes, I love Pasmo. Cool. Right. I must be missing something here because I can't Someone see. Someone says there's a switch in the booth. Oh, okay. Just fully spoiled it. I hope that's fine. <laughs> no, please do. But, okay. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Okay. I should have seen this. <gasps> Seattle has the Orca card. Oh, cool. Good. San Francisco has Clipper, which like, eh. eh. Clipper. Eh. Oop. Going into the city streets. I don't know what the LA one's called if it has a fun name. It's My called Fuck You, you. you Have to Drive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called This Doesn't Work Well. Alex, kept me relatively have you considered the 110? <laughs> oh, so wait, are, are so you are you like scootering or motorcycling there? or? Toes. So no. I have a motorcycle, which I take basically just to like the office, my job and back, because um, it's, it's not close to me. Um, and I know I'll have like parking and everything there. And if I'm going to like somebody's house and they have parking that I can park it, I'll take it. But a lot of time I just take a train or the, um, a cab. So okay. because sometimes it's like, I go to someone's place. And I'm like, I don't know if we're going to go elsewhere. I don't know if we're going to drink. You know what I mean? In a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought their wail was a crescendo and leaving me to take the fall for it all he had gotten was my attention. scanning for similes I'm still at zero this is very mm -hmm. disappointing I went for the hotel first. <laughs> it was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes I walked straight in playing at Bogart like a <laughs> playing at Bogart no Bogart one says that no one ever said that oh man shark smiles shark smiles Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing pain me. Pain to the max. Because his name is Max, max Payne, get it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's Oh, my God. Asking. Oh, my God, these pictures. You know they had fun doing this. Oh, yeah. This is a great day of dress-up they had. Yes. Rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Finito. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Assembly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally. There we go. Finally got to one. Somebody put a one on the screen. I'm not going to do it because this <laughs> OBS might crash again. Oh, gosh. Do you lane split on your bike, Abby? Not really, no. I mean, I don't take it on the freeway. Okay. Um, I have a Honda Monkey, and it doesn't. It goes like forty-five top speed safely. I mean, I can go a little higher, but um, so if it's like traffic's pretty much stopped or like very slow, I might do like the inner lane, kind of between like parked cars and or just like the curb the if there's like enough space. His right -hand man but he got needy. I don't go super fast. I like being alive, personally. Yeah, that's, that's sensible. Probably yeah. a good. That's a good position to take. He had the to run the business, but he lacked the balls. Yeah, people that Always people that lane split on motorcycles sure. like at Taking speed on the freeway are just like, no. Like, I can't even watch you do that. That's quite dumb. No, I will skip like a huge line of cars that are stopped, but I won't like 
be a speed demon about it. You know what I mean? Anything yeah. goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Those Rico Muerte. Be deal. Real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up. Rico Muerte. <laughs> be deal, man. Added security. Locked doors. Lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it had They're to really there. milk in this was a oh, yeah. sort of Sosa. whole comic <laughs> section. <laughs> they must have, do they... Did they sell, like, a graphic novel of this? They must, right? It seems like such a waste if they didn't. I don't remember if they did it around the first game. I feel like I remember them doing something around the second one, though. Hey, but yeah, I bet there's some, some Max Payne stuff out there. <gasps> Can you open the safe? Yep, and I get some painkillers out of it. And no money? I guess you're a freaking good guy. Maybe don't make your presence so known next time, idiot. Just look at this guy. He's like leaping forward onto his stomach and then immediately just mm -hmm. leaps backward onto his butt. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're speeding up and rewinding a tape over and over again. Also, like, I love New York, but I've never been like, I feel like everything here is like, all right, we got to show we're in New York by having all the New York monuments on every piece of art ever. Okay. New York, New York, New York, baby. Yeah, I love New York. Ooh, love bed. Very normal bedroom set up here. <laughs> extremely normal, extremely agreeable. Like, I could sleep in here. Sure. sure. This is definitely like not a the... threatening room. My favorite thing about it is just the open. There's no door. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> Doors are expensive. It's so true. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA special agent. We need some Alex swagger Balder. to eliminate the special Valkyr agent crisis. Balder had been shot repeatedly mm -hmm. from a point blank range. The gunman has been identified. Oh my as god! The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD. That's not how the, the news is apprehend. reported. I Lady, you're never going to make it to CBS at this rate. <laughs> Back here. Ah, drawers. Oh, Always there's just a whole gun in there. <laughs> yep. Just, here we go. It's my gun drawer. You don't have a gun drawer? No, not yet. Something to aspire to. Yeah. I do have a lot of knives in different drawers, though, oh. I will say. Kind of, kind of knives are we talking? I have like a Boy Scout pocket knife, okay. which is my favorite knife, That's and then right. I have like a big, like camping knife that I don't know how legal it is for me to have. Mm. <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't take it anywhere. That I usually just don't use or use to open packages. Wait, hang on. Are there California knife laws I should know about? I don't know. I feel like there was like weird New York ones that I was always nervous about, like having like a pocket knife with me or something. You know what I mean? Um. But I think as long as I'm not like carrying it a backpack to like I don't know who knows where. It's made the bed vibrate. What's up with that bed? <gasps> Get on it! Get on it! Now I'm vibrating. Oh, more. that's yeah. good. Oh yeah. Oh my God! There's a mirror on the ceiling. Oh, yes, dude. What? It's that mirror has seen better Ooh, days. Boy. Maximum horny. That mirror. You should have so shattered it looks like a fingerprint. Mm. <laughs> boy. Yeah, so, I could write look, this game. That's how good it was. Somebody was having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Jumping on the bed, I mean, of course. Of course. I can't go through here. Maybe I just this maybe this is another one of those cases where I go back the way I came. Wash your clothes. Can you hit that button, elevator maybe? Getting out was not gonna be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a mm. decade or more. Decade or more. Boy, that's hmm. like a weirdly specific thing to know from pressing the button. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I can sense it. Elevator. Noted elevator expert, Max Payne. This elevator stopped working in 1991. Toilet flushes. That's Whoa. important. I do like the games that let you drink toilet water. Unfortunately, you can't do that here. Is there something we should know about you? Can you like bust? <laughs> Just that I like to live vicariously through my okay, game. I can do that. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, I tried okay. shooting the window before and it didn't shatter. I, I thought know. That wasn't the thing. It's like tempered glass, you know. You're gonna really give yeah, it to me. Something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's uh. there and they're not answering. Let's go. Hey. Uh. Oh. 
Oh wow, those don't explode? <laughs> I don't think those are the exploding frames. That's great. That's annoying. They're just there for I, I fun. Liked it. I mean, they're more of an orange. They're not like regulation red, so... <laughs> Wait, how long have you had that? I've had it all along. Can you bolt I just time don't use that? It. Is it like a pipe? Or like a No, tie you cannot bolt a type with not with a thing that does not shoot bullets. Aww. Ooh. I agree. Ooh, indeed. Okay, that's probably the way down. Let's see if there's anything here. Nope. Just boxes. Y'all see any good movies lately? Gosh. Um, let's see. I watched Brightburn a couple weeks ago. Is that the Irish one? No. No, that's the one about the kid the, who's a supervillain, yeah, right? That's the evil Superman. That's that's the what if Superman was evil. Horror. Oh. And it's like a horror movie. It's not it's not a comic book movie. It's like very much a slasher flick. Was it good? It's okay. It's not bad. Okay. It's kind of very straightforward. Okay. And then it ends. I've of... seen two good movies lately, one of which I can talk about, the other one I'm technically still embargoed from speaking about. What? But, uh, I okay. Did see, I did see Jackass Forever, and I did love that. There's too much throwing up in those movies, which is a shame. Cause there's a lot less there's... of it in this one. Really? Yeah, yeah they, they, they're old. this one is more like... Uh-oh. Oh. oh, boy, I wonder how long ago I saved. Um, This one's more like a 90-minute dick torture video. That's fun. Mm, I do love yeah. a good, like, you know, hit to the nuts. Okay, so I do have to do this part again, but now I know what I'm doing, at least. Are you F5-ing? That... Are you F5-ing? No, not at all. Oh, you because should be, I'm an idiot. Oh, you should really be doing that. <laughs> After I shoot this Ooh. guy, yeah, hit it. I'll see if I can F5. Don't hit forget the safe. safe. There we go. Yeah, see, that's what you want. Just just F5 every time you finish an encounter. A letter on the desk. Yeah, oh, again, it's a rhythm that I, I've i gone so long now not existing in. <laughs> that it's just very it's weird to be like, oh, yeah, I don't need to be constantly saving. Um, How about you, Abby? I just saw everything everywhere all at once. Ooh, I want to see that so bad. Very good. I will say, very hyped before going in, for like the first act, I'd say, I was like, is it as good as they say? It like wasn't selling me on it. Mm -hmm. But then it, I, it very quickly won me over. But yeah. I do think this humor sometimes has a certain element of like random mm. that I don't love. Mm. Otherwise, quite enjoyed. I think that's maybe just like a me thing. Sort of not to my taste. I get it. I, I'm kind of yeah. with you. I, kinda, I get yeah. it. I get it. But very good. There was a, Quite enjoyed. Uh, there was a big thread on YouTube from the filmmakers. I'm not I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Thread was on Twitter, but it was from the filmmakers about how they basically like learned how to make movies from YouTube. Oh, cool. It was like, oh, we learned, we learned shot composition from every frame of painting, and we learned special oh. effects from this channel, and like that's cool. They were just like, yeah, we have no like formal filmmaking training and you just kind of That's great. watched a bunch of YouTube stuff and figured it out. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's the pain. oh. Nice. I wish when one guy fell he could like hit the other one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want it, it to like be like, cat, like a domino effect. Yeah. Um I also watched Parallel Mothers. I haven't finished it, so I gotta go back and do that. But really good so far. What is that on? That one I purchased oh. digitally on iTunes. See. Yes. I'm not sure if it will be made available. That one feels like it'll probably go to streaming, I'm sure, eventually. Yo. Um, oh. But it's good. I also want to see um, Drive My Car, which is streaming in a few places. I hear that one's good. But yeah, also, like, three hours well. long? Ugh. Every Please. movie is three hours long now, except for Jackass Forever. It be. Give me an hour 20. Damn. That's, a, that's all you need. That's a very short movie. It's not. You've been brainwashed what? by the two hour and 30 minute movies that are out all the time. It's not. It's normal. It's the three it hour, is normal. The, I think that should be normal the again. three hour movie industrial complex has got too much power. <gasps> I, I kind oh. of agree. I like long movies, but it's just too much. I don't. Just make not everything it a needs to be three hours. Series. I'm not sure an hour 20 even counts as a movie. Oh, sure it does. Come on now. Hour 30? Like, sure. 90 minutes, like a solid 90 minutes, okay. Okay, I guess there is a little bit of fake TV in here. Oh, sweet. My lady, my lord. That's hey, fun. What? Hmm. 
My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord. My lord. My lady. My lady, there is indeed. Someone says name an 80 minute movie that isn't a comedy or a kids movie. I think The Quiet Place is like an hour and 20. There's that's a lot the of one thing that are like I liked about The Quiet Place. I think The Quiet Place is a bad movie that's poorly made, but it does know when to leave, and I appreciate that. But why, my love? Why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not. All right, fine. I was just kind of getting into it. V head junkies could go off without a warning. They had to be careful. Is he gonna? Is he saying I need to kill this guy who's not a threat at the moment? I'm just gonna leave him alone. Yeah, I'd say okay. maybe just. I feel just... like he was. The implication there was like, I gotta kill this. He's, he's having a rough enough night as it is. Yeah, it's not going well for him. I did watch the series finale of Killing Eve. I didn't watch the rest of the season because I heard it was bad. And the finale, one good part, mostly bad though. Pretty Wait, hang bad. On, yeah. hang on. You're saying you skipped the rest of the season and just watched the finale? It did. I didn't need to. They jammed everything into the finale. Interesting. Okay, that's, that's efficient. I vaguely followed it online just to see, like, oh, it's not good. But from what I, it seemed like they jammed the relevant info in the finale, and they kind of didn't really even touch on a lot of it anyway. Have y'all seen Severance? I feel like everybody on my no. not yet. I've been waiting. I was waiting for the season to end so I could watch it. <laughs> Isn't it about like awful people? I don't always like those. I think it's like kind of a mystery box show. Like it seems like there is a, yeah. a central mystery to it. I think oh, okay. I, I think I've seen some lost comparisons actually. Oh. Which you know, to me is exciting, but I also oh. understand that is not to everyone's taste. I think I was thinking of Succession. Is Severance like an Apple TV one? Yes. I think that's hmm. right. I think that's right. I think that is correct. Yes. Okay. I do have Apple TV. Weirdly enough. Oh, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse. Oh, this is the thing that was hearing on the radio earlier. Was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. Brutal. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shot. That is not a flattering picture of me, even by this game's standards. Pretty angry. Yeah, it looks like a mugshot. Extremely dangerous. Oh, that's not either. Oh. Oh, well, uh -oh. this guy had a little too much fun. At least he he went out happy. Wait, what is going on with this projection? With this light? Also, this room is a weird setup to have a vibrating bed with a couch and two chairs surrounding it. And a couple of moving spotlights. Yeah, what happened in this room? I think You're right, it needs more moving spotlights. <laughs> I think you know what happened. Sex happened. Yeah, not good sex, though. Like, real, real unseemly kind. <laughs> You're having a bad day. I'm going to leave you alone. What? Ah! Get her. Oh, boy. Oh, that's my face. Okay. What's your face? I think I, I think I only missed one gun battle back. Maybe two. Yeah, something's wrong with the boss. Abby, what's your hot dog sitch these days? Are you equipped? Ooh. Are you equipped for hot dogs at any time? You know, I was keeping the dogs well stocked for a while, and then once I was kind of going back in the office more, I kind of because it was like a good midday. Yes. I need something quick. It's like the stream food. Oh yeah, it's perfect for like, oh shit, I gotta eat before a stream. Microwave a hot dog, chow down. But I haven't really. Whoa, you just what fucking dog? wrecked that door. Haven't enjoyed a hot dog. Well, I did eat a hot dog, <laughs> I think, two days ago. Um, and it was pretty good. It was a chili cheese dog. Ooh. But I haven't been making them at home oh, lately. i got to get back on that hot dog grind, though. Love me a good dog. What about you? What's 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 your access to hot dogs at G4? There are no hot dogs None? in the building. And honestly, the location sucks for food. Mm. It's really upsetting for me. 
because I want food. We do. There is a good um, empanadas place though that I make everyone go to. And a thing I love to do lately is anytime I'm like writing like an around the office sketch, I write in like, and everyone's eating empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> that is devious. As hell. That's amazing. I mean, that's just like. That's just but the thing is, point, right? I write it in for everyone, so it's like mm -hmm. you have no <laughs> like, they have no choice but the to show succumb. runners are like, great, we get empanadas. <laughs> you gotta go buy three hundred dollars worth of empanadas again. Be careful. That is that is incredibly that's that's brilliant. I have to support you. <laughs> yeah, look, it's fun. <laughs> I say, write in shit you need. Write in your favorite lunch. Um, I did write, I, I wound up scrapping this one, but I did write a sketch where me and another produ person were in it and eating um, ice cream sundaes Ooh. just because I was like, that'd be fun. <laughs> but I wound up not going with it. I mean, they say write what you know, but they don't, don't say write what you eat, but they should <laughs> say that. They should. I agree. You, you need like a lot of backup there, right? Like if the shoot takes a long time or you have to do multiple takes, don't you need like 10 sundaes or something? You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. It's... Relatively low rent. <laughs> we only get a couple takes and we gotta get in and out. So, I'm not takes. too worried about it. Takes. As in, you get to do a thing again after doing it once? <laughs> yeah. You don't just do live? No, I wish. Absolutely wild. Ah, oh, this guy again. Someone did mention my friend Jamie Loftus, who is a hot dog master. Ooh. She's very well tuned with the hot dog. Wait, how, does, and I, how does one attain the rank of hot dog master? You know, she's done the research. She's put in the time. She's eaten her 10,000 dogs. Um, <laughs> she had a show that I saw recently about Joey Chestnut. You guys familiar? Yes. I'm familiar. Love yeah. Joey Chestnut. It was a great show. Um, but she did have somebody from the audience who was like a friend, like baby bird, a hot dog into her mouth, <laughs> which I did not enjoy watching, but uh, fun show. <laughs> I don't know about that one. It was a good show, I swear. I mean, hang on. Is that just is that just transferring a whole hot dog orally, or is that like... It was a chewed up, okay, spit right. out. Enough, enough said. Oh, enough said. That. Yep, yeah. I right. got enough out of that. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't, ask, uh, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. No. <laughs> uh, is, is Joey, oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening here? Some kind oh, of... It was a letter. trap. Trap. Oh. What happens with the trap? Oh, there's a gun on the chair that went off, I guess. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello. Is Joey Chestnut like a, like a personality now? Is he doing other stuff? With Jack Pupino. Like, I just know I think he mostly still just does the hot dog competitions. Okay. Like, he didn't, he Joey Chestnut? He didn't, I don't he didn't, think he's... He didn't, like, get his own Food Network show or something like that. He must have... I'm guessing he probably has some kind of, like, hot dog line. I would... Or, like, hot sauce. I, he must, right? I feel like that's the path of that. Yeah. But I think he's still just competitively eating hot dogs. So. Someone says he was on The Amazing Race one season? What? I could see it. I yeah, I believe that. bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. That you want to take another pass at that line? Ah, That's not. Smoke. That one's a little rough. No. <laughs> oh, free gun. Listen, sometimes you're up late and you just need to get the words on the paper, and then you never go back to edit a second time. Mm -hmm. Brad, what's the best hot dog you've ever had? Oh man. Um. Let's see. What the hell? I was taking a dump. Uh, that night, that legendary night at PAX in Seattle that we went to Dog City. Was I, I if, part of this? I don't know if Alex was there. I think it, I'm pretty May sure. May have been. I'm pretty sure. The that one, was, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was totally there for that. It was, we were at that pinball museum bar thing. Yes. I, Abby, I think this was before we hired you, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So yeah, like, in fact, I have no I memory of this. I don't think I ever actually went to another PAX after we hired you. So it really? I, <laughs> that might be true. I checked that out, actually, I checked I think out that early. That is right. I checked out yeah. early on the PAX train. Um, I, had a, I had a Seattle street dog in Dog City that was pretty memorable. Wow. What was on it? Uh, Why was it so memorable? So if you, you Give can, me a flavor experience. You can you can Google Seattle Dog. It's like a specific kind of. Let me see. Don't need to tell me twice. The Seattle main, Dog. The main things I remember are cream cheese and jalapenos. I okay. think. Or am I? I'm sure it is good, but. Seattle Dog. On paper. 
Okay, Seattle dog, sometimes referred to, okay, as a Seattle dog. It's a hot dog topped with cream cheese and sauteed onions that is often sold from late night or game day food carts in Seattle. Yes, it's extremely from a food cart. Maybe, maybe so the jalapenos might not be regulation. They... I think some do. This this is a different one that has jalapenos. Um, it seems like it's just sort of like sautéed vegetable, peppery yeah. stuff. It's the, the cream cheese is the important part. Like, it's cream cheese on hot dog. I'm telling mm, you. I'd eat it. Pretty good. I'm a big Portillo's guy. I love Portillo's. Oh, man. I've only been to Don't Portillo's to once, say once that. in my life. Oh, yeah. So good. Is it the one in Anaheim? Because that's the only one they have that's outside of like the greater Chicago area. Yes, I believe that's area the table. I had Portillo's once, and I was like, "It's Dyer fine. Maybe I need to like candy. try again." It was also I like went alone, and it was really crowded. Mm. I had talks with have the mystery expanded? hag over the phone again. I don't Since think they have that much. As long as the hag keeps paying for I shouldn't the be doing anything on this computer that's not running the stream. <laughs> she had a nice sideline. Making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed mm. if her V fix for the day didn't do it first. Am. I think Ooh. my favorite. Ooh, wow. Oh, I found the secret oh. tape room. Secret. Whoa. Wait, is that a hidden can? Oh, look at this nefarious oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Cool. Can you see the pinhole from the other side? Gotta go check. You gotta go yeah, check. it's right there in the poster. Oh no, it's her. That's oh, right man. in her eye. Yeah, that's that's just, good. Just wrong. I love that. But oh, so right. Okay, that's where I came in. If I follow the arrows, it'll tell me where to go. Oh, hello. Oh boy. What the? Okay. I like that it just sprays the stuff. I can't tell if it has any gameplay impact, like if it like blinds them or anything. It doesn't really fun. seem like it. That's cool. Fun to do, regardless. Why are these dudes just loitering around at an empty hallway? Wait, what is that fake poster? Behind you. Pong whiskey. Makes you go ape. <laughs> <laughs> what Why does it look like the guy from Queen, but from the biopic from Queen? What's his name? Oh, uh, Rami, Rami Malek. Doesn't it look like him? Kinda. A little bit, yeah. I guess I could see it. Kong whiskey. Can't go down Is here. This right? Oh, I can! I can use this elevator. This elevator works. Okay, finally. Unlike the other elevators. The blood veins of New York. Mm hmm. As opposed to the other unrelated veins that do <laughs> not carry blood. <laughs> right. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. That's it. Just that one. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Good to know. Oh, it's slow. Service elevator. It's not a good elevator. Yeah, I guess not. The other day, the elevator in my building, it's... I live in an old building, so the elevator's probably like 100 years old. Um, the, like, light was out. It was just like the bulb had died. And it was just pitch black. And I was wrote it once, and I was like, I guess I, I'll do it anyway. And it was I was like, this is the scariest I thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I don't think the dark elevator is a good idea. I goofed no. up. I goofed up. I Personally. turned on my phone light and immediately put my back to the wall. Because oh I was like, God. I'm going to get murdered by a ghost in this elevator. Like, like a dark elevator with like your phone lighting everything up might be worse than just dark it, elevator. It almost made it that's worse. Like, that's like that's straight, why I really had to do like back to the wall. I was like, I can't. It's like, that's like straight horror area. movie setup. Both freezing yeah. and heavy it's, like you, it's a bad elevator. <laughs> it's all pitch black in there. And then you turn your phone light on and then like, oh, somebody else is there with you now. <laughs> I know. Oh, that would have been very upsetting. No end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyrie case. The forecast said there was plenty more. But it was real snow, from. not like the metaphorical snow the I was snow just talking about. On my side. Less oh, that is a fun thing. I have adapted to the... LA weather so quickly. No, no freezing cold temperatures. I mean, it gets cold here when it gets like fifty-ish, yeah, but gets like, like all. It gets like desert cold, right? Yeah, it's like it gets cold at night because it is the desert, which is a little bit unpleasant, but. Um, I don't know. It's just like I'll see people posting like snow and like bundling up and shit, and I'm like, oh right, people live this way, you know. 
take that boxes. Look at you go! Your little Whee. arm. There's nothing in these. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. We got one. Yeah, oh, I got one thing of ammo that I didn't anyway. need. <laughs> nice. Hold it. Someone's in there breaking our boxes. I need these. They're full of goods. Yeah, like the air we like to put in them and nothing else. Yeah, how would you rate the accents in this game, Abby? Pretty good. Exhibit number one. Over the, the top and a lot of fun. What is this furnace? What? Where the are we? Man tied to a chair, lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat. Now lying what? in a pool of drying blood next to a new. It's called art. It open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. What is the comic saying? Is right. it the, the the SAP or what's going on? Just a three panel masterpiece. <laughs> what do you think's the best three panel comic? Oh man. Hmm. I think um, it's Branson Reese's One Fear. I've seen that one. I've seen I the only stuff of his I've seen is Swan Boy. Swan Boy's good. But I feel like one it was like an early one. He drew it on like a napkin. And then it became like meme to hell. When you when you say three panel, do you mean like has to be published in the newspaper? No. Oh, like in fact, they even do they still do that. Yes, they do. Oh, newspapers still I have comics. So. There are still yeah. newspapers, and they still have comics. Okay. Whether anyone reads them or not, I have no idea, but they do exist. All right, this is where I came in. Uh, I'm not. I'm not totally sure what scope you're looking for here, but for me, Calvin and Hobbes always and forever. Yes, for me, that was an all-time favorite for sure. I never really grew up with them. Single panel was the far side. Three or three or more mm. panel was usually Cal Calvin and Hobbes. I, I, I would guess it holds up pretty well. What I've Probably. read, gone back and read, definitely does. I do love far side comics. Far side's not so bad. weird. I love all their like weird stuff. Like cow tools. I enjoy mm -hmm. Farside. Me too. There are just so many really weird ones. Yeah, we're freaking doing business over here. Yeah. Yeah. I say a sentence and you say a totally different <laughs> sentence. Oh boy. Waste of time here. Oh, don't have time <laughs> to wait around seeing what, how any business deals go down. I just gotta shoot them. <sighs> A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. I got time for that shit now. There How's the library now? <gasps> Look at that giant key. Oh, that is yeah, a, that is a big key. Okay, have you been to the library? How was? Who me? Did that get lost? I think that question got lost. How did? <laughs> Let me start over. How is the library in LA? Um, I mean, there's a million libraries. I don't know what like the main branches. There's one near me. I don't know if I've been in it. Because I think I got, when I got my library card, I got it online. Um, and I I just rent, like, digital books primarily. So, I don't go to the library, but it seems fine. <laughs> I don't know. I have friends who I think use it more. I, I don't know what, like, the main branch is. Yeah, I, I, we go here a lot because they have, like, a bajillion Blu-rays. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's, like, the beauty of the library. It's also, they have all those, like, there's, like, Canopy, I think, is one. They have, like, libraries usually have, like, digital movies too you can stream which sometimes i'll do when i'm looking for like something to practice my french because i'll have like a lot of weird like obscure french like documentaries and shit sure i didn't miss because so i have this key something i'm missing here no i guess not all right let's try going up here oh the bar is up here never mind don't forget to save save check saved right before the right after the last gun battle so okay cool Step into the next room. Thank you for the reminders, though, because again, getting back into that rhythm of "oh, you got to do the saving" is a little uh, challenging. But no, they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid, I was so depressed I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, this guy does not look like a stone cold murderer, <laughs> but no. Mm. Sexual intercourse. 
It also, like, going on the idea that these are just the game devs, mm-hmm. these seeds make me a little, feel a little weird. <laughs> weird oh, they're having the a good time. Sure, they're sure. enjoying themselves. They get to be actors. Oh, she has a gun, too. That's good. I love her bangs. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, she was shooting at me first, okay? It's true, but for whatever reason, hers just was way more brutal. Keep all the damn painkillers. Yeah. There's so Back many windowless rooms. Why are we in like a maze, like a basement maze? Like, what is this? I'm still trying is there a bar to down here? Figure it out. But like, where are we? In someone's house? Like, what? Is it? Concrete walls? No windows? That guy's pants pulled down. Yes, he was about to get a. Uh, oh, is that the dude? Was, yeah, yeah, he was, he was about to get a little. Get a... Oh, I thought you killed him. Already. Hashtag wound. No, he ran yes. out of the room. Okay. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. It's fine. You know where to go now. You know there were some painkillers in here somewhere. There we go. Or it moves a Molotov. I haven't even tried a throwable oh, in this do game. It. Now's the time. Throw a thing. There was a key. On oh, the I table. guess I should probably take the key on the table. Should... Yeah. Key is over here. Now I have the bar key. And you know what? Let's try a grenade. You get to the bar. Th oh, it's like bar's in the bathroom. Two men. How do I skip Two this? Men. How do I end this? Otherwise, I have to keep watching this. All right. He wants to start over every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next room. And I'm thinking, Nada gonna do it. But no. Sexual sounds happening in the background. With the kung fu fighting video. You know, oomph. I was so mm -hmm. impressed. I strangled them both with the video game. The sexiest sound. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. I do enjoy the part where he's just staring off into the middle distance Rico while it's happening. Just <laughs> thinking about how evil is he is. The only way yeah. He can his gun. Mm -hmm. And how he loves killing video game players. There you go. There, yeah, I threw. I feel like there are fewer bad guys. They come. There are more of them will be coming along shortly. Okay. Don't I forget your painkillers. Yeah, I'm trying. I think the taps are kind of in the way. Just can't get this woman. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Now she's extremely dead. Finally. Can you save okay. her? Yes. Done. Nice. Wow, yeah. how is he not dead? I don't know, man. He's really He's tough. Dead. It's the power of the blowy, you know? Yes. So. I'm now I'm not doing so great. It's the Just animal passion. Pure old adrenaline. <laughs> All the oh blood's boy. in his hog, so when you shoot him, nothing comes out. <laughs> All right, we'll oh. try this again. Now that I know he won't die ever. Maybe you can Molotov him? Ooh. Yeah, there's an idea. He's just really strong. Oh, good, he's burning. Oh, yeah, look at that. Doing it. Ooh, does some fun stuff to the audio. Nice. One else over here. Hmm. Guess you got him. There are some oh. painkillers here. Nice. The antique switchboard was still in use. Okay. Oh, thanks for the. Sort of a, oh, what a fun. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
There was an oh, old telephone switchboard. There is a bit here. The reception area. Kind of made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones. Yep, on. that was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> fake orgasms over a web of party lines. Mm -hmm. the, blood mm -hmm. the blood veins of New York. Oh, there yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, there was a different oh. set of moans and groans. The pimps, out. the hookers, the blood veins. We got it. Whack him. Freaking you freaking kidding me? Whack him. Is this a freaking kid? Out, a deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at mm -hmm. large. Yes. Again, mixing the head with horse maybe a little bit here, but <laughs> nonetheless. Hmm. <laughs> the club. club. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Club. Ooh. What'd you win? What'd you win? Nothing. Oh. And one more so time. Tricky. Rigged. <laughs> nice. The only correct response is something like that. Well, this guy's gambling. Maybe he won. Can you get his gambling prize? Gambling with his life. <laughs> It was coming up. Okay, okay. Uh, what's 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 a what's a non-winning slot machine thing? It's coming up. Uh, Liberty Bells. I don't fuck. I don't mm, know. Yes. Wait, are there things in slot, slot machine that doesn't win? I've never played a slot machine. Hmm? Are there what's things? Yeah, well, you want to get three of a thing. No, I that's know that. you, yeah. I'm, what, I'm, what I mean is, are there are there three things? Are there is there a thing you can match three of that does not win? Is what I mean. Uh, I haven't played slot machines enough to know. Like I don't or... think there is. I think, yeah, I think if you're matching stuff, it's sort of different levels of, like, how much you win, I think. Oh, cool music. Why is there in. a full-size model of this Empire State <laughs> Building here? Why would you have this? Because you're in New York, okay? Oh, and I'm dead. Fair New York. I'm in New York, and I'm dead. And you're friggin' kidding me. Okay, if you haven't done slot machines, Brad, what kind of gambling have you done? Mostly blackjack. Wow. Oh. I haven't. My stepdad's game of choice. I haven't been. Yeah, to, I like blackjack. I haven't been to Vegas or another gambling safe sport, you know, city in a very long time. But yeah. blackjack is mostly what I played. I went to Vegas three months before I turned twenty-one, um, so I could not gamble or even like stand near the mm. tables, which is so, like weird. Yeah, they're very serious about that. They are. This is maybe the single worst city to be in if you are not of age. Yeah. Yes. I will say I went with family for my grandparents' cold anniversary. Mm. So I didn't pay for anything. And we did go to like shows and stuff and like nice dinner. So yeah, in that sense, it was like actually better than I expected it to be yeah. for not being able to gamble. Um, and then when I went to London, there was a casino and I played blackjack and I was up 20 quid and I'm like, I'm good. But I, it didn't have the fun p appeal to me. I was just like, I don't want to lose money, <laughs> you know? I do remember doing one thing where I had like a certain amount of cards and everybody else had like pretty big cards. So I was like, I think it'll be another small card for me. So I told the, the dealer to like, hit me, give me another card. And even the dealer was like, are you sure, idiot? Like, don't do that. <laughs> and I was like, yes. And then I got blackjack and nice. it was very satisfying. Nice. nice. Okay, so you just looped around? Yeah. All right, fair enough. But I needed to. Yeah. This is where I need to go. I think like 200 bucks up is the best I ever walked away with. Or that's pretty good, that's, though. Yeah, so it's not nothing, but. Maybe there actually isn't anywhere for me to go here. Hmm. Welcome to New York. Y'all ever been up? On top of the Empire State Building? I haven't. I have. That was like a fun it, touristy thing I did while living there. I actually did it with Danica. And it was great. It was like super windy and rainy and foggy. But it actually made for like really cool viewing of the city all like covered in fog. Yeah, they've got like yeah, an observation deck up there, right? Yeah. 
and it's very windy. <laughs> it was like half the building people couldn't be on because it was so windy. If if you were ever to watch the behind there we the go. scenes That's the problem. features on the King Kong DVD or Blu-ray. Hmm. Okay, go I'm, on. I'm not saying you should, but if you, if you <laughs> were to do so. <laughs> hang on. Is something cool going to happen here? I don't want to. I don't know. I don't Usually wanna, when he walks outside, it's a cutscene to eventually getting into another indoor space. I don't want to waste time with a King Kong story if something good's going to happen. <laughs> um, but the there's, do the talking. There's, there's footage on there of Peter Jackson and a couple other people getting to go up to the actual top, like way up above the observation deck to where oh, the like, gigantic cool. antenna thing is. Scary. And the little like handheld camera, because I mean, this is like 2004 or something, so it was before iPhones, but like they had like a little like Sony handy cam or something. There's so much radio interference from the gigantic Turn antennas around, up there that like away, the camera down. was like zooming in and out on its own. That's crazy. The super powerful radio signals were just like scrambling all their electronics. They were like, we need to get down from here as fast as we can. Fascinating. I'm going to Google that. That sounds cool. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me. But they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar hmm. of fire lifted the remains of a car straight you, up into the air. What? How did, how did you turn snow into liquid gold? Of a black it's just, it explode. just makes it water, man. It's, it's just, just water. About. As if the That's just parts of the world. explosion. It's not the snow, I idiot. I got a look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob. Fly in Don Punchinello's suit. Don Punchinello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. <laughs> Vodka. Vodka, that's good. That is good. Very subtle. <laughs> uh oh. Oopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Looks like a New York street, though. Boy, we get some more of that liquid gold. So I'm not going that way, is what you're saying. You can go around. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The slum goons inside building? were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Can I go into the pawn shop? I don't know, man. Yes. Yeah. Man, people love guns here. Oh, God. That was right in my face. Have y'all ever sold anything from a pawn shop? Oh, what's well, here? At least it used to I've be never actually... Like, I've been in a pawn shop, but I've never bought or sold anything. I don't know if I've even ever been in one. I'm not thinking about it. I've definitely been in them. I don't think I've ever found anything. Hmm. Do they ever have cool shit that's not just like shitty jewelry? Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes they have like musical instruments yeah, or other saying, things. You can definitely find, oh, okay. find some half decent guitars there from time to time. Yeah. The thing about pawn shops is I feel like they're just kind of sad. Well, yeah. Nobody yeah. goes to a pawn shop because they're doing well. Oh, I did find an Uzi in here, so that was worth it. Can I go into the bodega? Will there be a cat? Can I get a chopped cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh, chopped cheese. I've never had one, but I've heard tales. <laughs> I've heard the stories. I, just, I do miss, like, a good New York bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah. Bodega bacon, egg, and cheese. There was one place, like, just... It was, like, off of Houston... That had the best one. I think it was called like Sunrise or the something, and I think it might have closed reading. during COVID, and it makes me so sad. The headlines so were good. screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were. Is the chopped cheese like a like a specific murder. places thing? Like, is it one establishment? No, I think it's really any bodega. Is you ask for like a yeah yeah. Is that just a thing? Thing that yeah. everybody knows? Yeah, not every single one has one, but any that has like a sandwich counter usually has it. I think it's just like beef with like cheese and then you can get like all toppings, which is sort of like general burger toppings, right? Pretty yeah, sure I mean, it's it's sort of like, it's more like ground beef as opposed to yeah. like a cheesesteak. Yeah. It's sort of like a chopped up burger, kind of. Yeah. Just do all the chewing for me. Yeah, exactly. 
I had my version of this game uh, this past week where I woke up and looked outside my window and there was a trail of weird red stuff all over my my the pavement outside my apartment and it turns out uh someone may have died and <gasps> went to death not long not far from where i live huh. what happened i think they tried to smash a window in one of the local businesses and i think they shredded their arm in the process oh my god oh, nice. uh... so, i don't know for certain if they died or not there are conflicting reports about that but there is definitely a straight up blood trail on the fucking in in the oh, pavement man. right near that's me. Kind of a New lot. York rules. That's like New York for you. Yeah, though. that kind of shit. Just there's always stuff that happens. Definitely the most fucked up thing that's happened around here since I've lived here. Like, did yeah. you see a news story about it or anything? No, it was a lot of rumor mongering around, mm. like you know, the local subreddit and things like that. Wait, you have a local subreddit? I yes, we have a local subreddit. My huh. neighborhood. That's Never cool. Thought the oh, for one was of those. with explosives. People love that citizen app, but. I don't want to know when there's a stabbing on my block. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. I, mean, I don't need to know. I mean, there's that and, like, next door, but all I ever hear about next door is just how much of a, like, haven for racism it is. Yeah, that's what I hear, too. Oh, is that a ladder? Um, oh, no, it's a light. Our subreddit is mostly not racist from what I've gathered. But, that's you good. know, like all... Oh, God! Oh, wow. Jesus! That? Okay, so don't be in that hallway. <laughs> yeah. Not the place to stand? That is not the place to hang out after I shoot that thing. Got it. Um... Jack Lupino's suite was on the oh, I forgot floor. to save. Oh, well. I'll just go shoot these guys again. So simply speaking of New York, Simply Bagel has a question. They say, I've never been to New York. Is a, boga is a bodega cat a real thing or just a stereotype? Oh, no. It's a real thing. I mean, it's, it's not like every real. bodega, but a lot of bodegas, it's just like a cat who lives there. It just hangs out. Like, do, you think, do you think the cat normally like, lives there 24-7 or do they like go home yeah. with the owner at night? I think probably lives there 24 7. Huh. I think a cage, like, I, yeah, I think it's sort of just like the cat's just around the building. Because there's also, like, there, I think there's like a flower shop that I always walk by off of like 6th, around like 6th and like 25th, probably. That was just like a cat who would like always be hanging out in the window. Like, oh, the shop would be closed. But it's like, oh, the cat's there. Yo! Ooh. I haven't given any painkillers in a while. I I would like to have some. Alex, does New York feel real different now? No, it's you know. I mean, look, it, there's varying degrees of COVID uh, preparedness sure. and and safety at this point, but. By and large, I would say it is. It still kind of feels like New York. Wait. It's just things are never quite back to normal. You're telling me that the, you, there is not a lot of new swagger in the city? <laughs> no, Eric Adams has not brought the swagger to the degree that he claimed he would. The building was rigged with explosives. He's too busy giving people COVID now. Who is that? It's our new mayor. Oh, no, no. I was talking about the painkillers. Oh, okay. I'm familiar with the mayor. He's mm -hmm. like a former cop, right? That's yes, little... he is. Yes, this I remember. Oh, that's uh, action music. It's time. What the... I do think I saw. Don't forget to save, unless it's a good flash. Just did. Okay, save check. Um, a video of him with like a police like <sighs> robot. I think it was. Oh, good. Like walking up some stairs. Oh, good. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it was. Maybe it wasn't a police robot, but that it sort of felt like that. I think that's what it was. I do believe the NYPD was investing in those at one point. Yeah. Oh yes. Or great uses of our money. Mm -hmm. no, the, the, the NYPD wants an ED-209 as fast as they can get one. It been just yeah, they want that ED-209 to make sure nobody fair jumps the subway. Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you. I'm Alfred Wooden. I have an even more gravelly voice than you. Mm -hmm. do. Sorry, Let's try and out gravel one people. another. What do you say? I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. I thought you would have gotten to a boss by now, I bet. Pain. This is 
game really oh, have boss I, battles? Maybe not. Maybe I'm, I feel like I remember like kind of big story fights that were kind yeah. of bossy. Boss they're definitely like bigger gunfights, but I don't remember there necessarily being like dudes who were just straight up bullet sponges, except for that one guy who had his pants down. <laughs> yeah. Could you shoot the lock on the door back there? No, I will. I just wanted to see what was out here before I do. I needed a key. Okay. Just block. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Someone keeps leaving letters on the counters. Suddenly Got something to say. Sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making it. Does it make person. sense? No. He was his usual self, all talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the gut to try anything. No freaking that. way! Look, we need the Pesci, Russian but not Pesci back. enough that he will sue us. <laughs> you push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Put the key on the shelf. No guns. Not going that way. <laughs> Matt Fane doesn't want to shoot the cops. He may have to. It's a nice big empty room. I think you picked up a key on the shelf. Yeah, you did. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh no, there is a key on the shelf. Oh, oh I see. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Staircase key. Probably for this door, I'm guessing. Get out of here. Maybe. Maybe the one in the other room. Yeah, probably the other one in the other room. Whoa! Yo! Yo, indeed. Yo. Oh boy. I want to see like a floor map of this building. It really, makes a every lot of building. Sense. Yeah, I'm sure. Give me all the painkillers. Wow. Do enjoy that he is just popping these things like it's a tic tac lunch. <laughs> me too. Up here. Oh boy. Say yes. Whoa. Not? What happened? I don't know. I think someone may have accidentally murked themselves. Cool. Oh, hole in the floor. Can you jump? Full time over. That's probably probably what I'm gonna have to do. I didn't even need to bullet time it. I just jump. Would have been cool if you did though. Oh boy. Uh oh. Well. Building has seen better days. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem up to code. Yeah, I love a jump where your back blocks. Oh boy, that's my camera. face. Oh man. Oh god, where even was this? Oh no. Gotta work on your safe discipline. I know. Look, man. <laughs> Video games have spoiled us. All right. It's true. True. Uh, games that make you save manually, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, nowadays, I'm like, what are you doing? We don't need this. We've moved past this. At least give me a regular checkpoint. Yeah. yeah. What are you trying to prove? Come on, why not both? You know? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred. a manual save and an auto save. The police are on their way. See, that's the problem, is that, like, I've lost my discipline. Like, I used to know. I used to have this muscle memory, but it's gone. It's atrophied. Yeah. The cops arrived. Siren singing. In the Do you have Video all the games have ruined us. Yes, they have. Do you have all the consoles now, Abby? I forget where you were. Go through there. When, when, I have a PlayStation 5. Okay. I have oh, the God. launch Nintendo Switch. And I have an Xbox One X. And a PlayStation 4 Professional. Okay. I have not purchased the new Xbox. And likely probably won't. Hmm. So far, there's nothing that I'm like, I need it for. So I'm like, I don't see what I would play on. I've got a PS5, a Switch, and a PC. Kind of play yeah. As long as yeah, you got one exactly. of them consoles, you're fine. And I still have my old Xbox, which is running fine. I have, you know, all the Game Pass shit on there. Still playing Sea of Thieves? Someone left Not as much as I want to. Hmm. Brad, anytime. Hmm. I'm down to sail the open seas. Hmm. Do you have to um, look at the letter again? Nah. All right. Save. Great. I'm going to ignore it. Save. As long as I got the key, that's Save. all that matters. Save. I did a second ago. Save again, just for you. Thank you. Hey. I'm just telling you, this staircase is kind of a handful. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> um, 
is there anything on the new PlayStation or no Xbox Series X or S that you think is like, oh, you gotta have it? No, I mean, gosh, I'm trying to. Th there aren't a lot of exclusives that you can't also play on the PC. Yeah. Yeah, if you got a good enough even, PC. Like, what are there? What are the exclusives that are on the Xbox anyway? Like, even with PC. Um. Oop, Boy. Uh oh. Forza. Okay. Oh wow. Oh no. Forza. Wait. What is, is it not on the oh, Xbox no. One? <laughs> Oh no! Oh this no! This is great. Oh, you can this is exactly get how this should go. You can do this. You can do this. Hang on. Run into the toilet. Run into the toilet. Okay, you can just be smart about this. <laughs> see, see this? <laughs> this is the downside of I the autosave. I wasn't somehow shooting you faster is, every time. Now you see why the autosave kind of went away. Oh boy. Can you move at all? No. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a perfect uh what a perfect way to play oh boy i think can well, you can you can you bullet time it's, it's like straight out of the load can you immediately bullet time yeah dive 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 i tried <gasps> jumping oh, I, jumping almost i think you can do this i think you can do this i think you just gotta dive into the pooper some some loads it seems like you get more time than others see Ooh. oh uh, come on Almost. Oh, See, it, so it's, close. it's possible. It's possible. Oh, this is tough. Oh. He doesn't die quick is the problem. No. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Did you I'm say save again. Oh, that was pretty okay, good. good. <laughs> that was uh, a nightmare. Personally, I loved that. I wish it went on for an hour. That was good stuff. It could have. <laughs> Boy. Right, this part. No more floor. Soon Great to be again. no more floor. I like that you can already see the cracks in the floor. I have a simpler time, you know. Oh, yeah. They did what they could. And I respect it. Kind of, I forgot how completely empty this game feels. Like, there is not a single human being in this game that is not trying to kill you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. The entire rest of New York City is just completely deserted. Yeah. It's great. It makes no sense. There has literally never been a time that I've been in New York and been like, there's nobody else around. Even during COVID. I, I wish I went to Times Square. I didn't want to ride the subway for obvious reasons during COVID, so I didn't wind up going because it seemed needless, but... Part of me wishes I went. I want to see Times Square all empty. It was weird. It was very haunted feeling weird. when I went through there when it was still in the, like the middle of like peak pandemic. Yeah. I did not care for it. I... Novelty wore off pretty quick. It was just like, this is just eerie and I don't like it. Yeah, I, I could see that. Is there anything in the fridge? I think that's a fridge. Oh, doesn't matter. It's like a fridge. Fear that gives men wings. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were making a Red Bull joke for a second. <laughs> I so did I, but apparently no. Red Bull stole their their sick from from Max Payne. Was this was this before or after Red? Bull? I feel like this was like right around the time that Red Bull and vodka was becoming like the thing. I think so. Really? Oh yeah. Bombs it destroyed. I've had a vodka I think Red so. Bull, but it sounds awful. It's not yeah, good. It's, I kind I've got a sort of kind of like a affection makeshift for loco. Rooftops. I've got, a, I've got an affection for Red Bull. Energy drinks make my body feel bad. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's about right. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. All right, we're cool. These jackets. Yeah, seriously. Put your booties on. It's cold out here. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever there's a door I can kick in, that's the door. Rats. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Hmm. Are y'all coffee drinkers? Just oh, thinking yes. of the so. energy yes. drink. Yes. Oh, really? How do you make your coffee? Black. Uh, skim milk, two sugar. Okay. Do you just have a coffee machine? What do you use? We use a uh, French press. Got a, Brad? We've got a bona, bona vita drip. Oh. Sure, but like a nice one. I've been thinking about getting an espresso. Mm. 
I had a friend who had one, and I was like, these are pretty good. I don't drink coffee, but I was like, I'm into this. You did. Huh? What if you did? What if? What Maybe if I'll do it today. Stop. That's right. Who's going to stop Why you? Why not? Who's going to stop you? Never, ever. It's like my so bank. Oh, from drinking yes, coffee? <laughs> from making an impulsive couple hundred dollar decision. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't drink it at all? I will occasionally have a coffee, but usually it's under like a social setting. That's like I'll yeah, meet someone for like coffee, the the elevator through the or I'll like the Sorry. stay at a friend's house and they'll like have coffee in the morning. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. That's yeah. exactly how I got started. It was just like, oh, I'm in the early at oh, the really? office and like, let's just go, let's go get a cup of coffee. Yeah. When I was working, here. when I was at the office, I would have coffee more because we had a big coffee machine. I just go boop boop. Hey. Um, but the coffee machine at my current office is not good, so. They do have chai lattes occasionally. Pretty good. Our last it's office- like drinking uh, a candle. Our, our last hmm. office at Whiskey Media before the CBS acquisition, we just had a straight up bun. Like What's the gigantic, a bun? The gigantic truck stop coffee, coffee maker. <gasps> that's great! Like literally the exact thing it, you see at a Is it called house. Bun? Yeah, B-U-N-N, like that's the company, that's the brand. It's like fun coffee. But quite literally, like every shitty diner you've ever been to in your life has got one of these. Like it was so. Awesome. I want one. Yeah, it's pretty rad. I mean, it's huge, but. Do they make good coffee? Ah, uh, you to know. To roof, I need to get to the fine. elevator. It's coffee. The door up ahead. Uh, they have they have like uh, consumer ones too. I don't know if it was good coffee, but it was necessary coffee. That's great. The coffee that does what you want coffee to do. Oh, that's awesome, though. Man, I want one. It was, it was a little kitschy, you know. Yeah, I love diner stuff. Man, why did you... I just want to make my apartment into a diner. Why are you wasting these guys? Oh, wait, they have guns. Because as soon as these other guys come around the corner, they're going to start shooting at me, too. Oh, my God, they're yelling. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Oh, they're already dead. Never mind. Oh, yes. Thank you, Hansberg, in the chat. The full name of that thing is the bun o -matic. Bunomatic. Yeah. It just sounds like a thing that makes like bunnies. <laughs> Search for that. Let's see. That. Bun o -matic. Let's see. Oops. Yes. They, har they harmonize. Oh, yeah. It's got the little like heat, like coffee warmer on top, too. Oh, yeah. That is good. Is it the one with the orange handle? Um, there is one here with an orange oh, handle. I don't know if you can see. Bun o matic yeah, Does it look like that? No, oh, no, yeah, look at that. Apparently, orange okay, handle means okay. decaf. Oh, I just found out. Good recently. to know. If there's a decaf option, I'll get it. Hmm. There we go. There's some painkillers. I just dive out this window. Do it. I feel like I'm gonna die. You're max pain. Save first. You can take it. Just so you win, and I'm there. <laughs> there you go. That's what happens. I mean, well, you took something. I loved it. Just so you win. What if you bullet time out the window? Hey, you got the gun. You make the rules. Oh. <laughs> I like just okay, keep okay. trying. Make I'm him go first. Here, just lead the way. I love okay. being in slow mo and hearing the guy talk at regular oh. speed. Nope, that doesn't help. That's, oh, that, that was pretty work. fun though. Okay, okay. Pretty fun. I'm with you. Just lead the way. Who is I don't this trust guy? this guy. Got a sidekick. How? He's there to like open the door that I need opened, uh. which means he will die as soon as I open that door. <laughs> is he like a hostage? Eh, for the moment. Okay, you're a hostage. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's upsetting. He did threaten to murder him. That's cool. But he's, I guess he's probably a bad guy. I it's guess. me. Open up. Let me in quick. Yeah, I don't have eye. a cop with me. John Come on. But that left. Okay, John Wool. All right. Come right in. It's Does it trap. mean something? It's oh, boy. John Wu. <laughs> I love this guy. I mean, John Wu is one of the founders in, of the con concept of bullet time it's in true. cinema. So. Very true. Oh, okay. I wonder what would happen if you let that guy live. I guess maybe he just starts shooting at you. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's what I would do if gun. I was him. Oh! Uh-oh. I was just checking my load. Oh, no, my whites! 
<laughs> Painkillers. Shotgun ammo. Man, I wonder what they're going to do with that remake. Like, I don't think they can just do this, you know? Yeah. What do they do? I mean, I guess, you know, like, okay, fine. Like, just this, but with really good graphics, I guess, could be cool. But Is it, yeah, though? What if they don't make them really it's good? pretty one note, though. Yeah. I feel like it needs it doesn't even seem something. like it's increasing in difficulty. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Alex. I am playing on the lowest difficulty, which is the only one that's uh, unlocked by default. So. Oh, but even really? still, like, usually stuff with yeah. low difficulty, there's some kind of ramp up. Uh, they actually just only give you one difficulty level? Yeah, they only give you the fugitive difficulty oh, to wild. start. But they don't in the Xbox version. When I loaded that up, they give you the first two. It's weird. Hmm. Oh. Oops, someone's taking a dump. What the hell? Like that part in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> oh. I think I've only seen that movie like once. It's the part where John Travolta dies on the can. That's cool. Spoilers. Oh, man, I haven't seen that movie mm. in so long. Yeah, sorry, I spoiled a movie from 1994. Speaking of, should we talk about inscription now? Sure. Yeah, okay, this will be the last part of the stream, because I guess we're about to spoil inscription. I don't know. What's the, what's the plan here? You were joking about to. this earlier for everyone at home, like Abby, by the way. Abby, you wanted me to save it for the stream, my thoughts on inscription. All right, all right, yeah, we'll wrap it up here in a second. Uh, Abby wants to talk about... The You're right. I'm not. This, this before the stream, I wasn't like I got to talk about inscription. It was like we were talking about it, and Brad was like, "Save it for the stream." <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear. This is material. It's true. What's, what's, the, what's the deal? You don't. I didn't finish it. You don't like Once it. Once it got to the spoilers, FMV part, I was like. You're pulling me out of it. The FMV is not. Oh, you mean doing like, it for me? You mean like literally the first time you saw FMV, you stopped? The part where it's like a dude and he's like in the woods and he gets like a tape or something or right. the game. Well, yeah. What I, what I mean is they they like there are little interludes of that throughout. Or are you saying you stopped at the very first one? So I did that and then I got to like the game looks totally different. It's sort of like a three like or like a two D adventure okay, kind of okay, thing. Okay, okay, you got. It. And like then it was like the deck building was like not as fun anymore, and I was like. Mm. Okay, you you have gotten through what most people consider to be the best part of the game. Okay. I will say that. I I loved the beginning yes. so much. Oh, I loved oh, the it. Cabin is More so good. of that. It's so good. And then the stuff after, I was like, mm. that like eight bit looking part you're on is pretty short. Yeah. Okay. Like, only, I didn't care for it. It's, yeah, it's not my favorite part either. It's it's only maybe a couple hours, and then the last act is a lot more similar to the first act. Do you think it's worth going back to and pushing I, through? I think the the last like hour of that game is extremely strong. Okay, maybe I'll like, give it another go. Parts, but I was really turned off by it. Act, act three is like kind of pretty slow to get going. Like it's a little bit annoying and grindy at first, but there's basically like a couple of boss fights toward the end of Act Three that are like incredibly memorable, and then the last like twenty minutes of the game is just really uh, Bam. excellent. Do you think I'd get the same enjoyment of watching someone play it yeah, online? You could actually. It's always red or blue. The, the most of it, yes. Whoa, what did you just... I think I shot their bomb. Did you shoot the thermostat? Oh. I love that they're like, all right, we're do we got the bomb all set up. Let's just put our faces real close to it and double check. Oh, the but wall, the wall fell. just fell over. Hmm. I love the, the effect the, of keeping the door up. The cookie cut out. Nice touch. All right, let's say... Oh. Wait for Alex to do one more memorable thing. And we'll call this. <laughs> Alex, make it count. What, do what, a backflip. What that memorable thing is, I can say. Get. Diving into somebody's oh knees. Oh, that guy just fell in a hole. Nice. I don't need to keep shooting him, but I'm going to. I could have stopped a long time before that, but what fun is that? None. I don't know. I mean, if you take pleasure in killing people. <laughs> he just takes ple pleasure in shooting a gun. Hmm. Fair. Who does like not enjoy a shooting a nice video game to gun? Fair. Have you ever fired a real gun, Abby? Yes. A number of times. Yeah. I have family who are into sport shooting, uh -huh. just like targets. Yeah. I have family who hunt. Okay. So. Yes, that'll do it. 
Yeah. Have you? Just runs, yes. Exact same situation. Just the yeah. I've been killing a lot of both of those. Just kind of, it kind of rubs off and trickles down. Yeah, it's like eventually you go to with them to the range. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's scary. Guns are scary. But I also think it is sort of an interesting skill to learn, of, at least to know the basics of how to shoot a gun, or at least gun safety. Yes. It's nice. Unlike to know. what this guy was demonstrating by waving his gun around and then it going off. Exactly. It's also nice to know, like, oh, a gun is incredibly dangerous and powerful. Yes. It's nice to experience that and really have, like, a real sense of that. Yes. Like, handling it will make you more responsible with it, which is a good thing. Yes. Absolutely. Do you think that, does that Chow Yun Fat reference still play? A oh, yeah. I mean, it, it certainly did at the time. I think it does. Oh, now. back then, absolutely. He was, like, pretty big at that point, right? But Yeah. The name's kind of familiar. Is that? So okay. one of the greatest action stars of all okay, time. Okay, I'm gonna. Based on what Abby just said, I'm gonna say it doesn't super play now. Keep in mind, I'm not an action person. It's not a thing I care yes, about. Yeah, so. I mean, he's really kind of not been in the spotlight for a while. I mean, he's probably he was running scared. Kind of up there. Run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly. I think he's still. Uh, he's still out there making Chinese he cinema. Oh, is he? And I wanted to. I think so. I think he's probably retired by now. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives me. Oh, Jet Lee retired, right? Maybe that's who I was thinking of. Hmm. I came in. Of, of the two, like, Hong Kong action stars that I know. I mean, surely you know about Jackie Chan also. Oh, okay, yes, fair. And Michelle Yeoh, who's still out there doing her thing. Yeah. Um. I guess I, I almost feel like. I almost think of Jackie Chan more as, like, a comedic actor at this point. I've, I've seen very little Jackie Chan stuff, though. Does he? I didn't know he was still acting. Like, this is, this is yeah, a, he's not as frequent, but he's still definitely still working. Like, this is super embarrassing. I'm not sure I've actually seen Jackie Chan in anything other than Rush Hour. <laughs> Just like... I mean, look, here's the thing. There's lots of Americans who can say the same thing. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I must have. You might want to heal. Also, don't forget to save. Yeah, I also don't know if I was supposed to come down here or not. Well, you are. Down here now. There's a window. You know what? I'm just gonna. Oh boy. <laughs> Such is that your blaze of glory? Well, that was my. I don't know if that was where I was supposed to go. Just one way to find out. Yeah. Okay, I've been here. Can you watch TV? Sometimes you can. Okay, wasn't sure if it was important or relevant. Now, generally, it's just, like, flavor. You know what? I think we can call it here. All right. There's also pipes over there. chase that guy down. No yeah, I just realized the save was further back than I thought. So let's go what? out in a blaze of glory. Well, that'll do it. That's uh, an undignified end to Max Payne's <laughs> vigilante career. You know, I am excited to see what they do with this remake, even though I know for a fact it is not coming anytime soon. Boy, that's like a... What year is it again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm guessing 2024 at the earliest. At earliest, I was going to say maybe 26 or something. 26? Well, like oh, said, what a wild time to... They've got like three, two, two, three other games going at the same time. Wow. Cool. Well, Being my 30s then. Oh boy. Well, might as well just hang <laughs> it up. I mean, life ends at 30. Everybody knows that. <laughs> from what I hear. From there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Abby Russell, thank you for joining us so much. Thank you for having me. I've missed you both. Yeah. It's great to be back. Yeah, Hopefully again soon. Yes. With Vinny, yes. maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we should do some stuff. Yeah. On the internet okay. with video games. Sure. Cool. Deal. Yeah. I'll spoil more um, beloved indie games. Please. Next Fantastic. Time As only you can. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be back later with this week with the regularly scheduled stuff. Look in the normal places for that. We'll see you then. Bye.